You are not paying for luxury, you are paying for survivability. And don't let the size fool you. This 100,000 ton ship can glide at speeds of over 30 knots. Some veteran sailors even hint that the actual speed is much more terrifying, possibly reaching up to 60 knots. But that is a military secret. Look at it turning, a skyscraper drifting on the ocean surface. This maneuverability, combined with defensive systems, is the first layer of armor against predators beneath the ocean. But the power of metal and explosives is only half the story. A ship, no matter how modern, is just a dead block of iron without a soul. In the next part, we will step inside the Forbidden City. We will meet the 4,500 humans betting their lives every day on the five most dangerous acres on Earth. And most importantly, we will answer the toughest question. Can all of this stop hypersonic missiles from Russia and China? Or is $13 billion about to become the world's most expensive artificial reef? Don't take your eyes off the screen. Forget the billion dollar figures or the giant electromagnets for a moment. Because if you strip all that away, the USS Gerald R. Ford is just a soulless, drifting chunk of metal. What truly makes it the most terrifying weapon on the planet is not the A-1B reactors. It is the heartbeat of over 4,500 human beings living and fighting inside it. Welcome to the Forbidden City in the middle of the Pacific. Many critics say that $13 billion should be used for the homeless. That is a humanitarian view. But there is a truth rarely mentioned. This ship is also a home, albeit harsher than any home on land, for thousands of America's sons and daughters. Who are they? They are not emotionless war machines. They are 19, 20-year-old kids. They just left school, leaving their families, sweethearts, and the safety of land behind. On this ship, the concept of privacy is a luxury that does not exist. Imagine living in a steel box where you sleep in narrow bunks called coffins stacked three high. 